Hello, and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to feature another game from National Pastime Three, um, game that we weren't going to record, but once again um, we have a possibility of a no hitter. It's the uh, bottom of the seventh, and as you can see, Mike Corkins on the hill here with a C rating, W and DP plus modifiers, um, is pitching a no hitter at the top of the. I'm bottom of the seventh inning. Um, I believe it's still a perfect game, too. Let me check here. Yeah, it would be, I think. Let's see. One lineup twice through the lineup. Yes. As Maury Wills is up now. And uh, so he's not only is he going for a um, no hitter, he's going for a perfect game here. So we still have three innings to go. So still a ways to go. But. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Uh, hopefully it won't be the first batter. Um, but anyway, Mike Corkins, let's take a look at his stats for the, um, for the season. So for the actual season, he was five and six, uh, with a 4.62 earn run average, um, career average, earn run average of 4.39 with just a 19 and 28 record. So, and he had just one complete game in 1970, only five for his career. So we'll take a look at this now, uh, keeping that in mind. So definitely not a likely candidate for a no hitter. So we'll take a look and see what we can uh, we can do here. All right. So it'll be Maury Wills. Maury Wills hitting just 077 on the season, 15 plate appearances. Steps into the box, Corkin. Looks in for this. Corkins looks in for the sign from Canizaro. Here's the windup in the pitch. Five four. And he's going to fly out to right for out number one. So one gone in the bottom of the seventh. Next up, Willie Davis. Willie Davis, just a 133 hitter on the season. 15 plate appearances. 2-5. And there we go. Right there, of course. And uh, Davis is not going to try to steal. So anyway, so there's the no-hitter gone, of course, as soon as I start recording. Just two batters into it. But we'll see how we can finish it here. So Willie Crawford up now. He still has the shutout possibility. 5-5, five, five. of course, I'm going to all of a sudden come and I'm going to get a bunch of hits now. So he's not going to risk it. So runners at the corners now for Andy Costco. And we're going to try to, yeah, we're not going to bring the infield in. They wouldn't do that at the time. So Costco up now. So what we need is a strikeout here. So Costco 0 for 2 on the season. <laughs> and of course, a 5-5. Five, five. So now I'm going to roll all kinds of doubles now. And there's another base hit here. So they're on the board now. So 1-4. And he'll fly up for out number 3. So they do get on the board. They unfortunately get 3 hits in the bottom of the inning. Let's see if we can finish it out here. So Jose Pena on the hill for the Padres. And the hitting star so far is um, Ollie Brown with two homers, three runs batted in in the game. All right, so Nate Colbert up to the plate now. Colbert two for three on the day. Strikes out for out number one. Cito Gaston, he's also homered in the game. The future Blue Jay manager. And it's going to be a hit. And since they have the lead, we're going to give them a shot at stealing. All right. So one gone now. Gaston reaches on a single. So Campbell up to the plate now. Strikes out. So two outs now. 
ground out to third over to first to end the inning. So Corkin's back out there. He'll face Garvey. He's 0 for 2 with a struck out twice. Strikes out again. So Sadaka's up now. 0 for 2. Draws the walk. So that'll bring up Ted Sizemore. Sizemore. 0 for 2 on the day, of course. 6-2. And he'll fly out to right for out number 2. So Jose Pena. So Manny Mota is going to come in and pinch it. So Mota up to the plate now. Mota one for one on the season. And he's going to draw the walk, so runners on first and second. With two down, Murray Wills, top of the order, 0 for 3. Oh, bad roll there. And of course, <laughs> the re-roll is a 6-6. Six, six. And that's going to be a two-run double, so he's making this interesting. That's going to be it for Corkins. All right, let's see who we're going to bring in. So Dave Roberts is going to come in. He's got a couple lefties up anyway. So Willie Davis won for three up to the plate now. <laughs> five five, and it's going to be another bait, another run scored, and uh, he's a pretty darn good stolen base guy. So we're going to have him steal, and he'll swipe second. So the tying run up to the plate now. So things change in the bat of an eye here. As the Dodgers are making quite the comeback. Crawford up now. He's one for three. And a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> and it's going to be an RBI double to tie the game. So, Craw so Crawford with the RBI double. Brings up Costco. One for three. And he'll be retired... 2-3 in the put out. Alright, so let's see here. So, tie game now. So. Let's see. Alright, so let's see. Lamb, Mickelson, or Brewer? Yeah, he's pitched quite a bit. Mickelson? No, he didn't pitch that much. We'll bring in Mickelson. Alright, so Mickelson in there. Tie game now. So I didn't think there was any danger of this going into extra innings, but there is now. Tommy Dean up now, one for four. And there's a base hit there. So Van Kelly up now, 0 for three. I'm gonna go with a little hit and run here. Three three on the hit and run. And that's just going to be a ground out as the runner advances to second. So field this choice. So Ollie Brown, the hitting star of the day. Two homers, three runs batted in on the day. Here we go. Can he put the Padre, uh, Padres back ahead? 
And he cannot. He flies out to center. So we head to the bottom of the ninth. Tie game. 5-5. Five, five. Roberts in there. Wes Parker 0 for 3 up to the plate now. And the first baseman will ground out to second for out number one. Steve Garvey. Definitely glad to see uh, what's his name out of there. Corkins out of there. And he finally makes contact, but dribbles it to the pitcher for out number two. Sadaka's in there. 0 for 2 with a walk. And he'll ground out to second. And we're headed to extra innings, of course. All right, so it'll be Ferreira, Colbert, and Gaston up against Mickelson. Ferreira 0 for 4 on the day. Draws the leadoff walk, and they're going to bring in a pinch runner. I guess Jerry Morales is as good as any. So Morales in there, the pinch run. Colbert. Up to the plate now. Uh, he strikes out quite a little too often to hit and run. So we're just going to hit straight away. Draws, no, doesn't draw the walk. Ball one. And, oh, it's a pickoff first. So, so Morales gets picked off, pinch running. Something you definitely don't want to do. So Corbett in there with the bases empty now. And he gets a base hit, of course. Let me give him a chance to... Oh, does not get a jump. Not get the jump. So Cito Gaston up now, grounds out to short, runner in scoring position now though, so can Campbell be the hero, 0 for 4 on the day, 6-4, no, he'll strike out, alright, so Roberts done, He hasn't, three days in a row, but he hasn't pitched that much. We'll let Willis come in there. A size more 0 for th 3 on the day. Grounds out to second, out number 1. And Mickelson's going to get one. Oh, wait. Don't want the hitter here. So, who would the Dodgers bring in the pinch hit here? Buckner's not that good. I think this is his first season. Yeah, Joe Ferguson. Uh, let's bring in Holler. He's got a good on-base percentage. All right, so our roll was a 5-5. Five, five. And it's going to be a base hit. Let's see if we can get a steal here. So one down now for Maury Wills. That's the man you want on base. Wills one for four. Five, two. Grounds out to third. Runner advances to second. So Willie Davis with a chance to send the Dodger fans home happy. Two for four on the day. Three, two. That won't do it as he grounds out to second. All right, so we head to the 11th.
Nah, he's pitched too much. Hmm. Guess we could bring in Joe Muller for an inning. Canizaro in there. Canizaro 0 for 4. Flies out to left for out number two. Tommy Dean. Two for five. Got two for six as he flies out to left. So bottom of the 11th. Ron Willis back out there. Willie Crawford up to the plate. Two for four. And he grounds out to second. Costco one for four. Strikes out. Parker, 0 for 4. Ooh, almost reached on the error there. So we head to the 12th. Remains tied at 5. While we're back out on the hill. Kelly to lead it off. Van Kelly, 0 for 4. Takes a strike. And strikes out. Ollie Brown, the hero. Let's see if he can be the hero for the game. He's homered twice already. And he'll get himself a base hit. So run on first with one down for Jerry Morales. He doesn't strike out that much. Let's go with the hit and run here. And he fouls one off. Try the hit and run again. 3-3. Three, three. And that's going to be a single as Morales rounds second and heads to, th I mean, uh, Ollie Brown heads to third. So maybe Ollie Brun Brown will score the winning run. So runners at the corners and it's going to be it for Moeller. He pitched an inning in the third. Hmm. <laughs> Not much here going on here. I guess we can let in Lamb, even though he has pitched three days. He only pitched two thirds of an inning yesterday, but we're running out of options here. 4 3. I should bring the infield in. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I did not hit too many in a row. It does that. It shouldn't be doing that. And it's going to be a ground out. Runners hold as, well, Ollie Brown holds as Morales moves to second. Run on third holds. So Cito Gaston with a chance to be the hero here. He's three for five with a homer and a couple of singles. And, ooh, just misses it. Five, four. And it's going to be a fly out to right, so we head to the bottom of the 12th. Oh, man. Willis is out of there. Uh, he's pitched quite a bit. I guess we can bring in Doyle. Not the greatest pitcher, but... So Doyle in there. Garvey up to the plate. Garvey 0 for 4. Strikes out for the fourth time. Holding Sombrero there. Phil Sudakis up now 0 for 3. Watt with a walk. 
And he gets his second walk. And he is who? Wait a second. There's one guy. Who was the guy that I? Let me just check with these guys. Make sure Morales can he play left field? Yeah, he's at, yeah. Come on, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, he's an outfield. Okay, we're good. So I make sure I get all the right position people here. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, so where were we here? Um, oh, yeah, Sudakis. Let's replace Sudakis. He's a catcher, so. We'll bring in Ferguson to catch afterward, so. I guess we'll bring in Von Joshua to pinch run. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. All right, Sizemore up there now. Sizemore 0 for 4 in the day. Hits into a double play. Okay, so Von Joshua coming out now. Joe Ferguson in there to catch. Actually, he didn't have that many at-bats, so. Joe Torborg, there we go. Jeff Torborg. <laughs> All right, so Torborg back behind the plate. Ray Lamb out there again as we head to the 13th. Dave Campbell, 3-3. Chance here to put the Padres back in the lead. 5-5, five, five, and that looks like it will do it. Possible home run reduced to a double, though. So, it's 27 or above. Padres will be out in front, and it's at 22. So, just a double. Nobody out, though. So, Chris kind of zara up now. He's grounded out three times, struck out, and fly, uh, popped out to third. I think we're going to do a pinch hitter for Canizaro here. Let's make sure I have another catcher. Yeah, I do. All right, so let's see. Do I recognize any of these names? Definitely not Fred Kendall. Ed Spezio. I think we're going to bring in Ed Spezio. Ed Spezio to come on to hit. Campbell gets his lead off second. Lamb looks in for the sign. Here's the pitch. And 3-3. Three, three. That is going to score the run. So Ed Spezio with a RBI double puts the Padres ahead here in the 13th. We'll just leave him in there. Spezio, we'll just put restrictions on him. All right, so Doyle, Doyle up there now. Doyle, the pitcher, we're going to pinch hit for him. Steve Hunts is just as good as anybody. So Hunts in there now. Still nobody out. 2 1. And flies out to left for out number one. Tommy Dean, 2 for 6 on the day. 5 6. High fly out to second. So 2 down now. Van Kelly 0 for 5. So, Spezio out of position. Uh, he only had nine plate appearances. Ron Slocum, I guess, just as good as anybody there. All right, so Slocum back behind the plate. 
Steve Hunt. No. Hold on here. All right, so Duke's the closer coming on, trying to get the save. Sending the Padres fans home happy. Well, what few are there at Dodger Stadium. I imagine quite a few, probably. All right. Let's see what we got a pinch hit for Lamb here. Ferguson had, uh, he's only got seven plate appearances. Here's Jim Lefevre. All right, he'll come in to pinch hit, the switch hitter. Batting left, lefty against the righty Dukes. Here's the pitch by Dukes. And he's going to fly out to right for out number one. So Murray Wills up now, one for five. Five, five, he'll get on. No, he won't, actually. He'll ground out. Five, five is a ground out. So it was the modifier, I guess. Maybe not. All right. So two down now. So the Dodgers down to the last out. Willie Davis, two for five with a pair of singles. Here we go. 6-5, and that looks like it'll do it. And that's it as he fouls out to first baseman to end the game. So, <laughs> another extra inning game that didn't think it was going to be an extra inning with 5 nothing in the bottom of the 7th, but once again, the pitcher that was pitching the no-hitter, the floodgates opened once again. And uh, send us the extra innings. But the Padres did end up pulling it out. Well, let's take a look quickly at the box score. So our no-hitter guy, Mike Corkins, <laughs> after six innings of no-hit ball, I mean a seven innings of, no, six innings of no-hit ball, go, ended up going seven and two-thirds innings. Six and a, I think he actually pitched six and a third, yeah. I did get one out. On camera, so six, seven, six and a third, no hit, perfect game, um, turns into a seven and two thirds innings, four hits, four runs, all of them earn two walks and five strikeouts. Dave Roberts comes in and pitches an inning and a third, doing two hits and a run. Uh, Ron Willis, one hit and in two innings. Paul Doyle, an inning, walking a batter, striking out a batter. Dukes. We'll get the save. We'll mark the save in there. So Paul Doyle does gets the win, goes to one and zero. Alan Foster ends up pitching a uh, maybe not slightly better, about the same type of game as uh, Corkins. So Foster six gets off the hook here. So six innings pitch, six hits allowed, three runs all of them earned, two walks, one strikeout, allowed two home runs to. Um, to Ollie Brown. I think he let off both. Maybe not both to Ollie Brown. I think maybe one to Cito Gaston. So Jose Pena, two innings pitched, two run, two hits, two runs, both of them earned, one walk, three strikeouts, and a home run allowed. Pete Mickelson, two innings pitched, two hits allowed, walk and a strikeout. Joe Muller, inning in the third, two hits and a strikeout. And Ray Lamb, Takes the loss, goes to two and one now. Inning in two thirds, two hits, one run. It was earned. So he, Lamb definitely needs a day off or two. Striking on a batter. And let's take a look at the line box score. The uh, hitting Tommy Dean two for seven. Van Kelly one. 0 for 6 with a run scored and a walk. Ollie Brown. We're going to give him the hitting star of the day. 3 for 5 with 2 home runs. 3 runs batted in. El Ferreira. 2 runs scored also. El Ferreira 0 for 4. Jerry Morales pinch runner. 1 for 1. And a left fielder. 
Nate Colbert, three for six with a double. Cheeto Gaston, three for six with a homer. Two runs batted in. Dave Campbell, one for six with a double and a run scored. Canizaro, 0 for five. Spezio, pinch hitter, one for one with a double and an RBI. Uh, Slocum came in the catch, did not get in that bat. Corkins, 0 for two with a walk. Roberts, 0 for one. And Will and Willis, 0 for one. So, Murray Wills, one for six with a run scored and a double. Two runs batted in for the Dodgers. Willie Davis, two for six with two runs scored in RBI. And a stolen base. Willie Crawford, two for five with a double. Costco, one for five with an RBI. Russ Parker, 0 for five, as was Garvey. Garvey struck out four times. Sadakis 0 for 3 with a run scored and two walks. Ron Joshua pinch runner did not get in a bat. Jeff Torbor came in the catch did not get in a bat. Sizemore 0 for 5. Cooling him, cooling him off. We'd have been hot up until that until this game. Alan Foster 0 for 1. Graba Kiewicz 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter. Struck out. Pena did not get in a bat. And Manny Mode as a pinch hitter. Uh, walked and scored a run. So that's it as Mike Corkin's no-hit-perfect game goes by the boards fairly quickly after we started videotaping. Uh, one of these times, though, we're going to get it. We're going to get our no-hitter. Um, and the San Diego Padres improve to 2-1. and one. No, one and two. So they actually it'll be two and two because I didn't record the stats here yet. Um, didn't save it yet. And the Dodgers will fall to two and two. So let's do that now. So what was our final score here? Um, five, six, six to five Padres. And that was in six, eight, ten, thirteen innings. I think it was thirteen. Was it thirteen? Uh, let's see here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, thirteen. And we're going to give a save to Dukes. We're not recording any uh, holes or any or blown saves, or any of that stuff, because it was 1970, which. They were not recorded. They were not official stats then. Okay, so now we have the correct standings with the Padres and Dodgers both 2-2. Two and two. So that is it. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, and uh, we will do it next time we get six... Oh, six innings of no hit ball. We'll join it and see if we can get a no hitter. Sooner or later, we got to get one. So we're 0 for 2 now in our tries here. and uh, But the Padres do pull it out and win 6 to 5. So take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next National Pastime 3 1970 replay video. Bye bye now.